Good morning. Well, I say good morning, even though it's not that great of a morning. I got on my helmet, set the GoPro up, I got on the motorcycle, and it wouldn't roll back. kind of weird. I know it's not that hard to push the motorcycle backwards. I looked around. I couldn't see any obstructions. Turned off the bike, got off of it, and went around. I got a flat tire. There's a screw right there. Hmm. But since it's close to the center of my tire, it's okay and I can plug it. If it were on the down here, you wouldn't want to do that. But since it's up there, it's just fine. So while I'm getting my stuff ready to pull this, this is the video I made of it this morning. Have a little look. can't let things like this ruin our day. Can't get upset. There's a saying that it says don't sweat the small stuff and it's all small stuff. Mm, that's true. So I'm not gonna get mad or angry or throw a fit. I'm just gonna, gonna pull it out, patch it, and be on my way. So the things that we will need to patch this tire is uh, I have these to pull the screw pull the screw out hopefully it won't be too hard i got some rubber cement and i have my tire patch kit it comes with the reamer the plug these are the two tools i'll need and also these uh one of these strips these are uh vulcanized rubber strips that I will put the um, rubber cement on one of these, put it through this tool here, and push it into the hole. And that's what I'll do first, is get one of these loaded, because once I uh, clear out the hole, ream it out, then I'll need to press this in pretty quickly. I mean, not necessarily, but I think it'd be better if there were a little bit of the air still left in the tire to give it some substance. So we're going to use these pliers to feed the rubber through the eye of this uh, tool here. And we'll 
just try to press it through. Sometimes this can be a bit difficult if you squeeze down this rubber, make it a little bit flat. It works better. So we'll pull that in until it's about halfway through like that. And we'll put rubber cement on it, but I'll do that in a minute because I don't want the rubber cement to get all over everything. So we'll just set that aside. And let's go ahead and get this. Let me open this, make sure it's not going to give me problems. All right. Now let's attempt to remove the screw. Now once we got the screw out, we'll use the reamer tool and just clear out the hole. This is a tubeless tire. If it, were, if it had a tube in it, we wouldn't be able to do this. But we want to clean out any, any pieces of rubber to make it a nice smooth hole so that the rubber repair strip will go in there nicely. Now once I got the hole reamed out, I will take my pre-threaded installation tool and put some rubber cement onto this rubber. That's an extra layer of protection to make sure it stays and protects and fills all the holes. Then we will press it in. And we'll press it in about halfway in there. And then quickly pull it out. And it should stay in. Now, We'll give that a couple minutes to dry, and then we'll get a razor blade and cut off that excess part that's sticking up here. See, we'll, we'll cut that off. Uh, we'll leave it out just a tiny bit so it can flatten to the surface, but we don't want to leave it out so much that it could be pulled out as we're driving. So we'll leave that. Then we'll uh, air up the tire and we should be good to go. While we're letting that dry, we will air up the tire. The, the rear tire on this should be at 32 pounds uh, per square inch PSI. So right now being flat, it is at, <laughs> it's not even reading. So let's air it up to 32 PSI. Fifteen now. 
25. So we'll cut this off, then we will uh, one final check will be to uh, spray some soapy water on this and check for any uh, leaks. If we see any air bubbles, then we'll know it leaks, but I don't hear anything. And uh, we got it aired up to 32 PSI. So far, so good. I don't have a, my, my spray bottle has Marine 31 in it right now, so I'll just use this uh, little bit of water with soap mixed in it. Nope, I don't see any movement, no bubbles being blown. All good. Now let me rinse the soap off of here and we'll be good to go. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for some of you. Remember, don't sweat the small stuff and it's all small stuff. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.